Good morning from Prague, Czech Republic. Today I'm flying one of Ryanair's classic 737-800s to Košice and back in a few days. As with most flights out of Prague Airport, I headed to Terminal 2. The departure hall here is massive, modern, and spacious. After dropping off our luggage, Ryanair does online check-in, I went through security. Terminals 1 and 2 are connected to each other, but divided in the fact that Terminal 2 houses the C and D gates, mostly meant for short to medium haul Schengen flights, and the A and B gates are intended for medium to long haul international flights to destinations such as New York or Hurghada in Egypt. Anyways, I headed to the C gates for my flight to Slovakia. If you're flying any budget airline besides Smartwings and EasyJet out of Prague, you need to go to the bus gates. These gates are C12 through 23 and are on the bottom level of the terminal. Despite this being the budget airline part of Terminal 2, there are still plenty of duty-free shops for food and gifts, with there also being plenty of seating. Boarding for my flight to Košice began on time out of gate C19 as I made my way to the bus. Out here in the stands is my aircraft on this morning's flight. This 4-year-old Boeing 737-800, registered Sierra Papa, Romeo Kilo Golf, is operated by Ryanair Sun, but under Ryanair branding. This aircraft is in a special livery advertising for businesses for the Lower Silesia region in Poland. Let's take a look at my seat, 27F. This is one of Ryanair's typical new seats. With the seatback safety card, dirty but rather sizable tray table, and legroom which is bearable for the duration of this flight. The space under the seat for carry-ons is limited but adequate due to the stripped down nature of the seat. These new seats also have decent padding but absolutely no back support. This cabin is also equipped with mood lighting. Here's our takeoff from runway 24 at Prague Václav Havel International Airport. While Ryanair does sell cheap, sometimes astonishingly so, tickets on this route, the service you get on the flight is null. This is a category that their former competitor on the Prague to Košice route, Czech Airlines, excelled in. Sadly though, Czech Airlines stopped flying the Prague to Košice route in December of 2019 due to Ryanair's predatory pricing tactics and lack of demand. After around 30 minutes at cruise, our descent began into Košice Barca Airport. Here's our landing into runway 01 at Košice Barca International Airport. A few days later, and I'm back at Košice Airport for my return to Prague. The plane taking me back to Prague today is yet another 737-800, this time 5-year-old Sierra Papa Romeo Kilo Whiskey operating for Ryanair but under Ryanair Sun.
Besides the landings, the experience on almost all Ryanair flights is pretty much the same. No service, bare bone seats, and everything for purchase. One interesting thing though, is that Ryanair sells lottery tickets on most of their intra-European flights. Considering the price paid for this round trip ticket, I'd have to rate this Ryanair trip a 10 out of 10. The 8 to 12 hours of time you save by flying as opposed to sitting in a car or sleeper train is well worth the uncomfortable seats on the aircraft for the short hour and a half duration of the flight. Anyways, that's the end of the video. If you want to see more trip reports like this, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, see ya.